So Saturday, September 19th, the moon will still be in Libra for the majority of the morning, and then it will be transiting into Scorpio. Now, this potentially could feel a little bit unstable, and when the moon moves into Scorpio, things can get a little bit dark. Why? Well, Scorpio is the alchemist of the Zodiac. We have the ability with the Scorpio energy to dive deep within the depths of our psyche. This is when we kind of dabble in the darkness where we're not afraid to go into those darker emotions because we know that there's a lot of power. There's a lot of strength that can come out of the darkness, out of the pain and out of the suffering. Also on that day, though, we have the sun making an aspect with Mars. Now, as you may remember, Mars is not only in its place of power in Aries, but it just went retrograde. So tensions are high with Mars. We're highly irritable. And again, we always have that choice whether we're going to be a noble warrior and work through those struggles and those irritations with a nobility so that we're just not lashing out and throwing tantrums every two seconds. Or are we going to be a destructive warrior, just kind of lashing out and destroying everything and everyone around us? Now, the sun, still very much in Virgo, is illuminating Mars. And this particular day, we do have a very high potential of just flying off the handle. It will be hard to be a noble warrior underneath this energy. And again, with the moon transiting that day, especially when it is void, making its way from Libra and not quite stationed into Scorpio, uh, our emotions are unstable. We're not thinking very well. We're not grounded at all. And the sun making this aspect with Mars is just going to intensify that energy. So we will be ir easily irritated. We can fly off the handle. We are noticing the inner tension and the inner conflict going on. And a lot of that is because we want to take action. We want to exert ourselves. We want to move forward. We don't want to sit in this space anymore. We want new experiences. We want this to be over with, but yet we're paralyzed. We're, we're not being encouraged to take action at this time. We have to be patient. And that is the last thing that Mars wants to do. So it is going to be hard for us to find peace that day. It's going to be hard for us to find peace within ourselves, peace within our mental frame, peace within our heart space. And peace with other people because we're dissatisfied we are not happy we are out of sorts we are angry we are agitated we just want to move on already and that in itself can be a very very frustrating energy to contend with just keep in mind that this big event of this week is that new moon in Virgo. And by the end of the week, we will be setting up for the last days of Virgo as we get closer to the sun moving out of Virgo and into Libra, which activates the fall equinox. That is when the energies between light and dark, both within us and around us and in the cosmos, become 100% balanced for a very, very short amount of time. But until we get to that balance, we can expect to be out of sorts, to really see where it is we've been living in extremes, where it is that we no longer want to take up that space, and we are actively working, especially in our mental planes, to balance those ideas, balance those frustrations in order to start fresh with the equinox. So thank you so much for tuning in to this week's energy forecast. I hope you have a great week and we'll talk to you soon.